Now to the fight against COVID. Big news today. Pediatric vaccines for young children may help with the slowdown of infections here in North Texas. But as our Steve Pickett shares with you now, COVID-related deaths, they continue. And they have hit a specific milestone. My mom was a person. She wasn't a number. Rosie Davis lost her mother, Mary Castro, to COVID disease in Irving in May of 2020. Ms. Castro's death would mark Dallas County's climb to 100-plus fatal victims 16 months ago. Today, Dallas County has 50 times the number of COVID deaths, 5,000 documented deaths. 5,000 to me, um, it just means that it could happen to you. It could happen to your family member. It could take your mom just like it took my mom. These are 5,000 of our neighbors and family members who have died uh, during this pandemic. Dallas County's Public Health Authority pointing out today, despite a decline in the most recent surge in COVID infections, only heart disease and cancer has killed more people within the past year here. And most of those COVID deaths from this year, he says, could have been prevented. You know, almost 90% of the hospitalizations and the deaths that we've seen are in unvaccinated persons. And that's why this is uh, even more tragic, that these are preventable. Uh, we've got a safe and effective vaccine. So those numbers, they don't surprise me at all. Rosie Davis leads the Yellow Heart Memorial, a now national tribute exhibit to remember COVID victims like her mother. 5,000 will only climb, she says, until Dallas and the nation decide to see the impact beyond the numbers. In Carrollton, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News.